Hey guys, welcome back. I am Wes and this week I built this TV stand that you see here. If you want to see how I made it, stick around. I started this project off by welding up these legs. Now they're made from one by three tubing. It's eighth inch thick steel. The reason I decided to weld these up first is my metalworking skills are not as good as my woodworking skills. So I thought it would be easier to build the cabinetry to fit the legs rather than building the legs to fit the cabinetry. <laughs> I then went ahead and I glued up the top and the side pieces and I cut them to fit and then I glued on a piece of three quarter inch by one and a half inch piece of ash on the front to give it an illusion that it's thick like the top is, but it's not, the top is only three quarters of an inch thick. Then I went ahead and I assembled it all and made a carcass. I also added a piece of quarter inch mahogany on the back to help keep things square. Now I didn't have enough ash to do this whole project without being able to avoid these knots. Now the, some of them had some pretty good cracks in them. So what I did was I used Starbond's um, black CA glue and I used that to fill them all. 
And I think it kind of gives it a unique look. Next, I went ahead and I built the drawers. And they are done using some scrap pieces of plywood I had laying around. And it happened to be an oak veneer, which is really nice. And I dovetailed the joints. And then I just made a drawer front for it. And it has some soft close-ish drawer slides. These drawer slides I found at the Toronto Woodworking Show. And um, the last, I'm gonna say half an inch of it, it just, it's like a soft close, not really. Like you can still slam them close. If you just gently push them, it slowly closes. So they're kind of neat. After I was finished building this bottom drawer unit, I then went on and made the top. And it's inch and a half thick, and I think I glued about four pieces of boards together. It's whatever I had left over, like I said. I had just enough wood to build this, and I had nothing to waste.
So now that it's all built and I sanded it down to 120 grit, I then went and I sprayed it with three coats of water-based varathane. And then I used a 4-0, I'm not sure what you call that, 4 knot or something like that, steel wool. And I wiped it down and then it gave it a nice, glassy, smooth feel to it. Now that all the components of this are made, it's time to assemble it. So that is it for this video guys. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this to the end. I know some of you don't, judging by my uh, YouTube analytics. A lot of you guys only watch my videos for about three minutes, but that's okay. At least you're, you're watching some of it. So if you're new to my channel, I encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button. And also please hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.